Hey guys, today I'm going to do a video showing how to adjust the mechanical governor on small engines. Now I'm not talking about air vane governors on like a push motor engine, but uh, this I'm talking about this type here. It's got an actual mechanical governor with a rod that goes in. It works off the oil slinger, which has counterweights on it to work the uh, governor arm. It's pretty simple to do. On your governor arm here, there's a little rod right here in the middle that goes all the way inside the engine, and you can see. This is a 3 16 nut driver. I have seen these slotted for like a straight screwdriver. Uh, this is actually better like this. And you got this bolt that goes all the way through here. It keeps tension on this so it won't slide on this. That's what happens a lot of times. A lot of times these will uh, move on here and that's what throws the governor out of adjustment. Which will uh, cause loping or surging of the engine while it's running. And here's your close-up of it, what I'm talking about. The first thing you got to do is loosen this bolt right here on the governor arm. What this does, it squeezes the metal together so it keeps tension on that shaft that goes inside the engine. And what you got to do, you got to hold your governor arm back here until it maxes the throttle out on the carburetor. And you come in here with your screwdriver and you turn this just until it stops. You don't want to force it because you can damage the internal parts of the engine by doing that. So once you get it set, try to hold it there. Might be better have two people have somebody else hold this while you're tightening this. That way nothing can slip on it. Then you just want to, like I just did, you want to tighten this up. That's all there is to it. Now also, while you're doing this, it's also a good idea to make sure all your linkages are working right. I showed this in another video I did on how to hook up all the linkages on the carburetor. But all you got to do, is when this is at idle, which is all the way over here, this should be very little spring, if any, at all to it. And when you give it full throttle, like this, it'll have a real strong spring like this to it. See how it does? and you return to idle it should be real free again. And this is something you should do anytime you have the carburetor off because a lot of times if you have these two bolts out the carburetor can move just the slightest little bit and that can throw this out. So it's kind of like a, you do anything on the front end of a vehicle you got to do a front end alignment afterwards so it's kind of like you have to adjust the governor every time you do something with the throttle linkage like this or uh, if you do anything to the carburetor. Always keep that in mind and uh, it's often overlooked because a lot of people don't think you can adjust this. I didn't for the longest time, but it's real simple to do. Uh, you can do it in probably five minutes. Uh, the engine on my lawnmower needs this done because the carburetor keeps working loose. And I noticed today when I was cutting grass that it was starting to lope uh, or surge up and down at uh, high RPM. It idled good, but it was surging. I figure that's what it is because that carburetor keeps working loose. So I'm going to do that on it here pretty soon and see if that helps it. I would have showed it on it, but uh, it'd be easier to show you on this engine here since it's not on the mower right now. Well guys, if you got any questions or comments, just uh, leave me a comment on the video here or uh, send me a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So, thanks for watching.